and you're not bad most TV entertainment without Let the redeemed of the Lord shout a wonderful hallelujah. That hallelujah is standing on one leg. I want you to jump up and rise on your feet and shout hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Pastor Dari, my husband was a wonderful person. He was amazing in every sense of the way. I do not mourn him at all. I weep because he left me. He slept. He did not die. He did not die. And I know, I am sure, because on the resurrection morning, he will rise again and we will see him in glory. I'm sure because he was saved. I'm sure because he believed in Christ. His salvation was sure, it was certain. He said, if I die today, I know I am fulfilled. I have done what the Lord has asked me to do. He was not afraid of death. He was not afraid. It is not a matter of how short. It is not a matter of time, but how well. And he lived well. He lived a good life. He lived to the glory of God. He lived, he served God. His life was dedicated to Christ. And that is why I, I am sure that he is in heaven I am sure that he made it and I want to say brethren today that if you are not sure of your salvation if you are not sure that if you sleep tonight you might not wake up tomorrow you are not sure of where you will be in eternity you have not given your life to Christ at all. If you are here today, you heard, and perhaps you just came to see. Yes, it's true. He is sleeping in the Lord. But are you sure of yourself? Are you sure of where you will be? Are you sure of eternity? You haven't given your life to Christ or perhaps you did and take I, and took it back from him I want you to raise your right hand this evening if you are not sure of your salvation you are not sure you are going to sleep in the Lord you are not sure of where you are going to end up you are afraid to die because you are not living a holy life. If you are afraid to die because you are not saved. Because the devil is still in control of your life. I want you to raise your right hand up this evening. Wherever you are, just raise, raise your right hand up. Raise it up and let the Lord save you today. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. You are not going to die. You are not going to die. I want you to be saved just as my husband was saved. I want you to make it. I want you to be sure of yourself. I want you to live your life fully for Jesus. 
I want you to rededicate your life to him if you, if, you are, if you were once saved. I want you to tell him, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Please save me. I want to surrender my life back to you. Help me. Because I cannot do this on my own. That if you come before tomorrow morning, I will reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you everyone that have come to honor God in his life. Thank you for coming. And I pray that the Almighty God will reward us all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you everybody for this evening. Um, mine is not scripted, so I don't know how long I have. Because we can be here forever really want to appreciate all those who have come to stand with us and honor us um please a round of applause for them because it's uh, we're not taking this for granted all right so pastor Dari, um i'm the least in the family um but then of course i'm also the biggest um it goes by it goes by name um omigio named me olua to be loba so if I'm big, it is not my fault. I'm just representing my God. <laughs> With Pastor Dari, we've done absolutely everything together. Um, he came four years. Uh, we'll breathe, we'll breathe, we'll breathe. We'll breathe. He came four years ahead of me. But um, I'm always chasing him. Chasing him, chasing him. Um... Don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll go past it. Just give me time. So every school he went to, I went to the same school. Nursery, primary. When we got to command, he became a head boy or house prefect or something. You know, everybody's chasing me everywhere. Why can't you be like your brother? Why can't you be like your brother? He punished me more than he punished all the other juniors because he's always expecting more from me than anyone else. Um, and then he got a break to be able to go to England and uh, we were both super skinny I would remember because we slept in the same place bunk bed up and down um, with our wonderful sister sharing the room with us then Pastor Dolu had gone to Joss or somewhere like that that was before when kidnapping was a standard way of living in Nigeria <laughs> but uh, he <laughs> As he was leaving, I told him, if I don't come along with you, your plane won't make it to that country. They would divert it somewhere else. So he reported me to our father, and that allowed me to go with him <laughs> to England. When we saw the school fees for the two of us, then we started eating, because we realized that when Daddy Joe sees the school fees, he will surely call us back home. So we therefore, if you notice some of the pictures, we got fat together very quickly as well. Um, and then when we realized that uh, <laughs> we were no longer coming back to Nigeria, it was too late. We had already eaten everything possible to eat. Then when we start, he started losing weight, I followed him as well. We got married on the same day, um, went through the same schools as well. Obviously a few years apart, uh, December 28. Um, my wife was going to give birth exactly the same day as he had his own first daughter and me too i was having first daughter i had to kneel down and beg my wife let it just go past midnight by one minute so at least these children would be one day after the other it won't be the same december date um i've been chasing him i'll keep chasing him fantastic legacy um first school we got to in england school has been created since 1886 it became the first African, the first Nigerian head boy of that school. And then he just continued and continued and continued. If, um, you know, ministry did not call us back to Nigeria, he would probably have been the first uh, black prime minister for England. <laughs> but truly, a fantastic life uh, to emulate. Um, Pastor D probably dresses better than anyone you would ever meet. 
it's so difficult to give him an honorarium when it comes to your church because by the time you look at his dressing and you look at what you are holding in your hand you would have to rethink it <laughs> he will probably be the one having to give you an honorarium at the end of the ministration we love him we miss him and if i have seeds in the house we have our song what does it say i will never be come on ever ever I will never be. Why? Because I am too. I am. I. I am. And uh, wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going on around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And your bad TV entertainment without bounds.